Oh crap. Oh crap! Welcome back to Days Gone. Uh, I am impressively starting out exactly where I left off before. Open world games don't always have the easiest time putting you right where you were, but I'm pretty sure if you look at the previous video, this is exactly where my bike was parked, which is kind of neat. Ooh, there are some uh, freaks around that uh, weren't here before. Hopefully they won't see me. Luckily, the game does pause when you open the map because this is a single-player game, and uh, you can do that. So I believe that last time uh, I was saying we were going to do some north end of the map stuff this episode, and it looks like we're already lined up to go to the hot springs and talk to Tuck, and so I guess we'll start heading in that direction. I am starting to get curious how long this game is. This, I believe, is my 28th episode, and each episode has been, like, a approximately an hour. I think some of them are... I think more of them are less than an hour. A few of them are more than an hour, but I think an hour is close to the average. So I've been playing this for... Oh, hello, a bear. Um, hey, bear. I've been playing this for quite some time. And I've got to wonder, like, how far in the story I actually am. Those of you who have played this game before, I know a lot of you are just sort of, uh, you're not here to discover the game, you're here to uh, sort of re-experience it through somebody else's eyes, which is, sounds kind of fun, actually. Um, but yeah, I'm really curious, for you, like, like, like how, how far in the game does it feel like I, is that a person? Marauders killing freaks, huh? Doing something right for a change. Oh, hey, cool. This is actually a good occasion for me to remember how to play this game. So let's just get into a pointless fight. Oh yeah, I suck. I suck now. Got you. Shit! Now. Oh, am I out of? Oh, I'm completely out of bullets. Okay, so that's fine. I can slow things down. All right, yeah, I'm remembering how this works. Yeah, you're also you're also getting killed. You thought I was here to save you? No, no. I happen to know for certain that you're all bad, just because of the way you look. <laughs> That's how it works. Okay, I'm almost out of ammo. I'm glad I'm headed for a settlement. I think I used up a ton of my ammo fighting a breaker at the end of the last episode. So, yeah. So anyway, how far in the game am I? Uh, I mean, I know that, like, because it's an open world game, you can take a lot of the missions in different orders. It might be hard to sort of to say for sure exactly how far through the game I am. Somebody's at the gate. But uh, I am Mr. curious Deacon if people have an Saint estimate. John. Am I halfway through? Am I two-thirds of the way through? Am I, I one-third of the way through? Like, I have no idea. Okay, before we do anything, your bike, right? refuel there my bike. Go. And I should go yeah, make sure I remember to buy some by. ammo. <laughs> Hello, Digging. ammo merchant. How's it going? Alkai. Need? need supplies, weapons? Uh, wait, that's weapons. Supplies is what I want. I want Thanks. to fill my sidearm ammo, to fill my submachine gun else? ammo. That's already full. How am I doing on suppressors? Okay, sure. You seen you see. deke? So I've okay. got... See you later. That's got a 23% suppressor. That's got no suppressor. That's got a 100% suppressor. Okay, hey, so... how you been? Hey, Alkai. Okay. Let's grab a sidearm suppressor. Yeah, I can upgrade that. It's cheap, but they do seem to run out of these. And I'm wondering, like, is this... I haven't kept track. Like, are they going to run out of these for good, or do they replenish periodically? Because that kind of makes me not want to buy them too Come much. Come by if you still need something. Let me know if you need anything else. Yep, I'm just going to be a silent protagonist, thanks. All right, let's talk yeah. to Tuck. Deacon, thank God. What's wrong, Tuck? It's rippers. More goddamn rippers. Oh, good rippers. Okay, where? They keep coming over the Iron View Pass. 
Now they've set up a camp along Bear Creek, just south of here. I'm afraid, Deke, if we don't stop them, what's gonna happen to the hot springs? I don't know, I get it, I get it. Don't worry about this, Tuck, I got this. That's funny, Bear Creek is a place. There's a place called Bear Creek, uh, vaguely in the area where I live. You. How's the bike business going, Zanny? Obviously, this is not the same Bear Creek. We're in Oregon. It's funny hearing the same name, though. Oh, hey, Deke, hold on. Humans are not the most creative sometimes when it comes. When you have to name a lot of places, you start reusing a lot of names. <laughs> like trying to, you know, navigate like all of the uh, very quickly expanded suburbs in Southern California, all the neighborhoods have like the same kinds of names all the streets have the same kinds of names names that they follow a pattern it's like lakewood you know it's like here's one geographic feature and here's another geographic feature we'll slam them together now we've got the name of a street or a neighborhood or something so yeah i think bear creek you know it's like it's the creek where somebody saw a bear that one time and that happens a lot and some people just name a lot of creeks bear creek Alright, well, um, it's raining. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's going to affect my uh, prospects here. Like, are there any, like, differences? Hey, Tuck, I'm at that Ripper camp, and it doesn't look like there's too many of them, so, you know, must be a scouting party. Kill him. Kill him all, Deke. <laughs> yeah, Tuck, you don't got to tell me. Say John out. Okay. These freaks are already sneaking into camp for me? So I think I'm just going to let that happen. I think I'm also going to attach a suppressor to my main weapon. Oh, wait. These guys... No, this isn't, this isn't the camp. Dang it. Okay. It's close to the camp. It's not the camp. The camp is this way. Never mind. Uh, I thought these guys were going into the camp and they were gonna cause some havoc, but the camp's this side. Ah, uh, goddamn Ripper's my friend. Lost an arm because of you bastards. You want to rest in peace? I can help you out with that. Come on, you sons of bitches. Come on. You want to get low, huh? Hmm. Okay, looks like they're kind of gathered up a little bit. Taking them out might not be the easiest thing. Maybe I want to go sniper rifle? I wonder if I can take them out in an order where they don't notice each other. Like, take out the ones with the better vantage points first? Oh, crap. They noticed. How many more of you? Huh? Okay. Finally. Oh, please tell me that's all of you. Nope. Yeah. Take a look. I got you. Get yep. him. Okay. I guess uh sneaky time's over. Oh wow, I did not have a lot of sniper bullets. I forgot how limited special ammo was. I probably wouldn't have been as cavalier with it. Is that low also, enough for you? I forgot that I hadn't fully switched. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. That's a bunch of them still. I appreciate that they're worse at hitting me when I'm moving fast. How many bullets can this person Too take? Many drugs slowing you down. <laughs> Too many drugs keeping them alive. I wonder if I'll find more special ammo in here. Oh yeah, I 
think it's a sniper rifle ammo. Last of you. I like that he keeps asking himself that. Like, it's definitely not. Oftentimes, when a game character asks, is that the last of you? It's because they're telling you that it is the last. But uh, in this case, no. The answer is no, that is not the last of them. God oh, damn rippers. Rest. In hell, the lot of you. Was that the... I always forget what those uh, filling up dials mean at the end. <laughs> Nothing like scrap. The one that filled up, was that the one that means I've got, like, skills? Where are my skills? Yeah, I got a skill point. Cool. Uh, I'm trying to remember if there's a particular skill I was saving up for. Increase ammo capacity. Oh, that's cool. Is that ammo capacity, like, ba how much backup ammo I carry? Or is that actually in the magazine? It seems like it wouldn't be in the magazine. That'd be weird to get for all of them. No longer consume focus when reloading a ranged weapon? Why would I be focusing while reloading? That's just a weird problem to have. Stop doing it. Um. Okay, so up the ante sounds pretty good. What else do we have? Oh, double the effectiveness of, of scrap while repairing the bike. That also sounds pretty good. Increases inventory space for everything. Extra burst of adrenaline on health. Okay, you know what? I think carrying more of everything is what I gotta do. Everything probably except for ammo. Okay, so now suddenly, I'm betting a lot of the stuff well, that. I uh, get back, so. Ah. Uh, I gotta just turn this in to Tucker. Tucker, it's done. Did you get them all? Uh, yeah, Tuck, I got them all. Isn't that what you're paying me for? Sorry, it's just... <sighs> this is the third time they've come up here, attacking our camp, taking and killing that poor girl, Lisa. We have to stop him, Deke. We have to. Uh, Tuck, son of a bitch, uh, listen. I've been Iron Butte, and uh, I've seen part of what they're building. What? When? How, how did you... No, it doesn't matter, but trust me on this. There's too many of them. Hundreds, maybe maybe thousands. And if they decide to come north, you ain't gonna stop them. You just ain't, all right? So just keep doing what you're doing. You kill any that cross the border, and that's gonna let Carlos know that he ain't moving north without a fight. That's the best you can do. St. John out. Huh. Stamina cocktail inventory full already. So yeah, so I don't know exactly what I've gained more inventory capacity for. Okay, yeah, it looks like this I stuff. I could, for you. I couldn't pick this stuff up before. And now I can. That's cool. I don't think I fought these guys. I think these guys are just... <laughs> they were just like this. They were like this when I got here, I promise. I feel like I should pose to take a picture here. Oh. More scrap. I'm going to go ahead and scavenge everywhere now that I get more capacity for stuff. All right, now what? Uh, it's telling me to go south, but no, no, I've got a job with Copeland as well. I think it's probably my only other thing I can do here. Though, yeah, and I don't think I, yeah, I didn't quite level up my, uh, relationship with them yet, so probably nothing new to buy. So get on the road and go see Copeland. See what he's got. Sometimes I wonder about other people's play patterns in games like this. Like, I've got this pattern where if there's a side quest and a main quest, I always go side quest first. Just because I feel like that's how I'm going to... Well, first off, that's how, like, 
I'm gonna be, I'm gonna maximize how leveled up I am for the, uh, for the main quests. You know, I feel like that's sort of how you prudently prepare uh, for sort of the, the later challenges is by making sure you're doing everything you can. Whoa, that's unnecessary. So that you're ready. Um, but also, like, I think there's a part of me that's kind of paranoid that I'm going to, like, finish the main quest and miss out on a side quest or something. Um, and so I always want to make sure that I'm doing all the side stuff because because that's the stuff that the game would let me miss. Whereas the main quest, like, the game's not going to let me miss that. There's no way for that to go wrong. If I, if I beat the game, I see all the main quests. So the side quest stuff is the stuff that I prioritize, making sure that I see. But I'm curious if anybody else has, like, a different pattern that they prefer. Like, you know, leave, leave a comment or something. I'd like to know, like, do you do the opposite? Do you do all the main quest stuff and uh, clean up the side quest stuff at the last minute? Do you ignore side quests altogether? Like, what is your... Or do you just sort of, like, role-play the character and just do whatever you think they would think is most important in the moment? Uh, there's all kinds of different ways people can approach it, and I'm, I'm just curious what you folks do. Because, you know, uh, being a game designer, like, part of what I have to do is imagine the variety of different ways people will play a game. You know, I work on an open-world game that's pretty different structurally from this one, but, you know, the better an understanding I can get of how other people approach games like this, I think the... Uh, the better my work's gonna be. So yeah, let me know. Let me know what pattern you follow when you play open world games. It's okay. Opening the gate. Hey, Deke, how's it going, man? Since I'm here. What do you need? Yep. Always. Yeah, I need, need to repair. Need to repair just slightly, cause I bumped that one fence. Hey, drop by next time. Might have something new with. You. Hey, Cope. Deke. Oh, you're not going to believe this one. I don't know, Cope. I've seen a lot of unbelievable shit these past couple of years. Try me. Hm. You remember the anarchists? Came through a year ago, maybe more, killing anyone in their path, leaving their little piles of stones everywhere they went? Anarchists? Yeah, yeah, we had a couple of run-ins with them back in the day. Well, they're back. Two of my people stumbled into their camp while out hunting deer. Only Bender made it back. She said it was anarchists. Each of them had the symbol painted on their face. Jesus, where? Where does she see the camp? I'll mark it on your map. You find them and kill every last one of them. We got enough crazy up here dealing with rippers. Don't need anarchists moving back in. You get that right. I'll find them. So, <laughs> I'm not quite sure I trust the assessment. Good to see you, Deke. Damon, how's it going? Of a libertarian crazy talking about anarchists. As I understand it, those are opposite ends of the political spectrum. <laughs> well... Opposite ends of the left versus right political spectrum. Same side of the uh, authoritarian versus, you know, non-authoritarian, anti-authoritarian spectrum. Politics is complicated. Actually, it's kind of weird realizing, you know, I'm, I'm making this video today. Uh, this is the Sunday before uh, the 2024 American presidential election. But I'm releasing the video after. So I'm sitting here <laughs> mentioning politics, and I'm like, there's about to be a bunch of politics going on. And I, right now, at this stage, I've got no idea what the politics, what, what, what's going to happen with the politics. Polit I mean, some, something weird is probably going to happen. I just don't know which weird thing. And uh, so you, you're kind of, I don't know. There's some dramatic irony, I guess, in sort of watching me sitting here not knowing what's about to happen. Hopefully, what happens is something relatively normal. 
that side of the spectrum we're looking at, from, you know, from normal to extreme, there's a lot of possibilities. And I don't, I don't think, I don't think extremely normal is likely. I think whatever happens, it's going to be something at least a little bit weird. I just hope it's something solvable. Anyway, since I don't know what actually happened, and you do, it's silly for me to keep talking about it. So, I mean, of course, a bunch of you might watch this, uh, you know, because when it shows up in the playlist, which will probably be before the election. So maybe you don't know either. I don't know. I think most of you watch it when it's officially released. This is a long road. I didn't even look to see, like... Oh, whoa, there's a sniper rifle. Okay. Okay. We're getting off here. And... We're going suppressed on everything. I guess I should have replenished my ammo. Alright. I'm... Mostly through a tree from this person. How close are they to Go, other folks? You were right. It's um, anarchists. You found him? Good. Got another report. They hit one of our supply runs coming down from Tumalo. Now you go in there and kill them all like they were roaches hiding under your bedroll. Let them know it ain't going to be like it was last time when they had the run of the place. Cope out. Now I thought that was gonna be a quiet kiss. How do you like that? I thought that was gonna be a quiet headshot. Christ. I haven't seen you guys in a while. Goddamn anarchists. Let's see what you boys have been up to. I love that how he did three different random comments about anarchists. I wonder if he just went inside three different volumes. Things are messed up enough for you, huh? Is that it? Do you have anything I can search? I don't see a prompt. Oh, there he is. Yes. All right. So we got a bunch of them way down there. It's not telling me yet how many there are total. Oh, what Someone's the? Here. <laughs> I thought you just ran down into our home, tear that shit up, yeah? Wow, I was not. No. Oh, whoa, 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 dang it. I saw that coming, but not quite fast enough. Oh, there's another one. Okay. Let's, uh, before I accidentally hit this one. Oh, wait, wait, here's a guy. I think, I think, oh, they heard me. Oh, this is cool. They're coming. coming from somewhere. Bring them down. Oh, they see me. Dang. Oh, I thought it was going to be fun if we could sneak up on these guys. Oh, yeah. Here's a little chaos for you. Whoa. Fucking anarchist. I like that. Whoa! Things aren't messed up enough for you, huh? Is that it? Okay, now I now I see why I might want the ability to uh Oh no. The ability to reload without losing focus. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Let's uh bandage use cool. Yeah, this didn't go nearly as well as my uh, my Ripper deal. I don't think I got hit at all when I was fighting the Rippers. I guess that was it. Okay, so was this the only time we met anarchists? 
Like, did they come up with a whole, like, way for these folks to Go dress? Done. If there's any more of them, maybe they'll get the message to stay out of our land. I hope you're right. And you just said our land. If you're not careful, you might become one of us yet. Cope out. Actually, yeah, don't hold your breath. Let's use this. So we can yeah, pick up that. Let's use this. Whew, okay, so yeah, so I'm just wondering, like, these anarchist symbols and sort of the, the skull faces these guys painted on themselves. Like, these are all expensive assets i mean not that expensive i mean i guess the anarchist symbol isn't that much i guess an artist probably worked like whip that out a day but like putting face paint on the characters faces and having them dress different like that that takes time and effort i'm just like normally when you're making a game like this you know everybody's like hey you know assets are really uh are really valuable you can't just, for one little mission like this, you can't just make a whole bunch of new art. You gotta reuse art. You gotta be efficient. And it feels like... I mean, unless we're about to start meeting a bunch of anarchists, it seems like a lot... A lot of resources went into this one fight. So I'm really curious, like, are we gonna run into more anarchists? Or is this gonna be a one-off? If this is a one-off then I think maybe what I would guess is that, you know, maybe maybe they had an, an entire anarchist faction in the original plan for the game. You know what? I'm just gonna... Can I fast travel down here? Yeah, it's fast travel. I wonder if maybe they had an entire anarchist faction and they made all of the assets to identify those characters and then cut a storyline but they still had all the assets so like somebody use these assets or like a mission designer was like hey we got all these assets lying around can i make an anarchist mission they're like sure go ahead uh or something like we already made a might as well the gate. someone's here and that isn't an automatic gimme like you can make an asset but then you still need to you know the freaker sometimes you know if it hasn't gone through like QA and stuff, you know, by Deep. just putting it in, Anything. how's my favorite bounce? By putting it in the game, <laughs> not let these people talking over me. Um, by putting it in the game, you are now introducing a new level of like quality. It has to be done to, and if there were any problems with it, you were papering over because you know you developed this asset early on in the game, and it's like we're not solving the little problems right now. Then bringing it back later on, suddenly it's got to be held to a higher level of scrutiny, and it does get more expensive. So it's still not nothing. Even if you've got assets lying around, it's still not nothing to bring them into the game. Uh, but still, I would have to assume it would be something like, if that really is just a one-off fight with anarchists, and they had special art. So either either it's that, or maybe they, you know, another thing that they could have done is say, you know, we want to have a certain number of very distinctive fights in the game. And so we're going to budget for that, and let's put somebody in charge, some some mission designers in charge of doing a bunch of very distinctive fights that get funded with art and stuff, because they want to not have that feeling that everything is just reusing assets. And they're like going for that feeling that you can run into something new and surprising, is worth it to us to to put a little bit of extra resources into having that happen sometimes, so you don't feel like the game is just repeating the same stuff again and again and again. So I could see somebody deciding to make an investment like that. So I don't know. I, I, like whenever I run into something like that, I'm like, I want to understand, like like what happened behind the scenes to make this possible. Honey Hunter, I don't know. How's life treating you, Blair? Uh, so I want supplies, and I want. Sniper uh, ammo. Good choice. And this time, I think I'm going to um, use it a little less cavalierly. Uh, what else we got here? So this is locked. The S SMP9 is locked, but I've already got one. I think somebody in my in my like uh, comments told me that I actually got the better version of this gun. By I guess I got it for defeating a horde. Um, and so I could unlock this one, but actually the one I've got is better. So I should keep the one I've got. So really what I'm looking to unlock is the Liberator, some kind of awesome shotgun, and the Talon 7 fancy sniper rifle. That does a lot of damage compared to the one I've got. That does a lot of damage. 
But not yet. All right. Deke, take care now. Wait a minute. Which way am I going? We got story uh, mission Deacon, over here. Over here? You. Huh. You got what you need? Yep. Everything I could think of. Let's go. We're going to set up power, right? Well, you sound pretty excited. It's the candle, Deke. What? The old saying, it's better to light one candle than curse the darkness. We've spent the last two years doing a whole lot of cursing. We get the lights on at last leg, and that's lighting our first candle. Yeah, only one problem with that. And what's that, Deke? Lights attract all kinds of nasty bugs, and they make it way easier for him to find you. We already had fire Hey, we're stuff. here! Shit! Swarmers! I was hoping it was gonna be clear. Nah, why would we have that kind of luck? I'm gonna take off my suppressors. I got backup. Might as well just start a big fight. <laughs> okay, I think that's all of them. But that was it? Okay, to fix this thing, I gotta climb uh -huh. up there. <laughs> Have you done this before? Nope, but there's a first time for everything, right? Right. Okay, come on, boost me up. All right, ready? Uh-huh. One, two, three! <laughs> if you fall, it ain't like I can catch you. Gee, thanks. I'll try to keep that in mind. Uh, what the? Oh, really? Oh, crap. Try and... I get the sense this was meant to last longer. Is there like one newt left I haven't killed? Or are they like having trouble pathing to her? I think I heard a... A scream. Oh yeah, I think this one couldn't figure out how to get to her. Well done. I'm coming down. Well god damn it. That was fun. Yeah, we're gonna have to come out and do this again sometime. Yeah, I'll talk to Schizo about getting some barbed wire around this. It'll keep the newts off. Yeah, sounds like the kind of shit job he likes to give me. <laughs> You'll live. Come on, I gotta check something else out. We getting on our bikes? Kind of surprised they didn't just put me on the bike. So, your old lady? Okay, how the hell did. It's not hard to put two and two together, Deke. How you lost her at that refugee camp, the one north of Belknap. And then the last few weeks, we've seen Nero choppers in the air, and you were hoping for what? A miracle? That she was with them somehow? 
Something like that. But she's not. No. I'm sorry. Look, it's not a big deal, so let's just drop it. Okay. Ah, what the heck? <laughs> that didn't go how I planned. <laughs> Ricky's being a little insensitive. Uninfected bears are still very dangerous. Wow. Word gets around. I'm almost ready. Power to the whole resort is routed through here. I pulled the breaker a week ago so it wouldn't short out. Okay. Ready when you are. All right, let's listen up. Okay, now the past few months have been tough. Not gonna deny that. We're low on food, medicine, hell, pretty much everything. But we got one thing in spades. And without that, everything else is meaningless. That one thing is trust. Now, a while ago, we had some more drifters ride into camp. Some of you said kick them out. We ain't got enough for ourselves. Some of you said we can't trust them. Tonight is proof of what I've been saying all along. We need everyone. I mean everyone who is willing to be here. Who is willing to work? Who is willing to help us rebuild? Now, for the past couple of months, Ricky has been doing just that. But she can't do it alone. She needs help. Tonight is going to happen because we welcomed a drifter into our camp. And we allowed him to earn our trust. Tonight, we take one more step out of the darkness. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh my God. Hey, 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 you, I got a, I got a, I got a bottle of water. Oh, that's your cue. Uh, good Whoa, night. Oh, hey. What happened? That's uh, nothing. Mm -hmm. Come on, let's go see Addy. So the woman in the photo, that was her? That was my wife, yeah. Dumb question. I'm I'm sorry, Deke. No, don't be. She's, uh, she's been dead a long time. Still, it can't be easy to get your hopes up like that, only to... I don't know. I wish there was something I could do. Well, there is. What? Stop talking about it. Okay. Addie? Addie! Oh, the lights are up. I don't think she's here. Addie, you here? Okay, well, strip. Strip, strip what? Take your shirt off, sit on the table. Hey, look, it's nothing. Deacon, do you want an infection? Mm-hmm. I may be an engineer, Deke, but that does not mean uh -huh, that I don't know how to treat a cut. Yeah, I never would have guessed the way that you were caressing those switches and circuits or whatever the hell you're doing. <laughs> All right, this <clears throat> might hurt. Just a little bit. Ready? Oh, Jesus. Okay. Really? No, I want to just wait for Addie to come back, just huh? Sh hang on. There. It's done. Big baby. So I told you it was nothing. <laughs> yeah, you did. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, wow. You really have been at war. Yeah, more than one. Shit, that's right. Where was this one? Afghanistan or the MC or after? I, uh, I don't remember. What about this one? Ricky, uh, I'm not sure that, uh, well, I heard that Addie doesn't really like, um, people messing around in her business. Yeah, I, I heard that too. What about this one? I think I'm not married. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Why don't you come back tomorrow and see Addie, and she's gonna tell you how great of a job I did. Ricky, um... <sighs> Deke, it's, it's, it's fine. You're welcome. Hey, Deacon? <clears throat> Maybe one day, stop and light a candle. It can get pretty dark and cold out there. For just a moment, didn't it look like Deacon was rising out of the floor as we were going back to normal after the cutscene? That was kind of odd. Oh, you know what? I've had multiple comments telling me that I should put a skin on my bike. At some point, we should make that happen. Gotta remember where. I think the uh, mechanic is over here. And actually, I might get captured by a story mission before I do it. Can I go around this? I think I can. So, like, Schizo spying on me and Ricky, what? I don't even know where to start with this thing. What is that gonna add up to? No idea. You need to buy something? Buzz. Probably draining a lot of gas. There's nothing. Right broken road. Need fuel? Shit. You really There's nothing wrong, wrong with that. Okay, so let, yeah, let's let's look at our visual upgrades here, or our paint. Ooh, paint. Let's see here. So we can put decals, a couple of dragons, some kind of open rib cage. Ooh, you can put a tiger in your tank. And a bunch of like tribal tattoo looking stuff. Uh, nah, not my thing. Let's okay. see. Okay, and then there's frame paint. Oh, we can just decide the overall. Okay, so we can have it be really dark. Or chrome. Oh, let's go chrome. Yeah, that'll last you. And then accent paint. Oh, okay, okay, here we go. Well, orange is kind of my color. That's a good piece. Nice and sturdy. Let's do that. Who the hell's my ratchet wrench? And then, yeah, now, I think that dragon might look the best with the orange. I do kind of like that symbol, though. <laughs> this is funny. I do kind of like the, uh, oh, we cut my bike open and it bleeds. Oh, that looks like it kind of matches. I like they did the same thing in different colors, so it could kind of fit in with different uh, schemes. I think... I think I'm going to go with the... Mm, I think I'm going to go with the rib cage. Yeah, good part, that one. It's gross. Uh, and then there's visual... So, okay, so I think we can also, like, ah, change the shape of things. These are more expensive. I do kind of like that Where triangular shape, though. That's kind of neat. Watch it. Look out. 
<laughs> Your bike's looking good now. I think we're at the point where I've kind of my weapons are good enough. Okay, that's that's funny actually. Yeah, that'll last you. Yeah, my weapons are good enough. I kind of don't mind spending money on uh, on stuff like this. Like normally, that's a good piece. Nice and normally sturdy. I res normally I resist spending money on visual stuff if. Yeah, good part that one. If that money could be better used on something else. Oh, there we go. Yeah. What else can I definite, get you? Definite fender. Okay. 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 So now, oh, look at this. See you yeah, we got we got a different bike now. That's pretty cool. Pose with my bike a little bit. Oh yeah, I look like a badass with my bike. Okay, whatever. Anyway, let's. Uh, what time is it? We got 15 more minutes. Maybe that's one more story mission. Addy. Hey, Deacon, how can I help you? Uh, it's Boozer. Is he he's, okay? Yeah, not well. He's not. He's not sick or anything. It's just, I don't know. Well, I told you that it was going to be a big adjustment. Do you have any drugs around here? Like antidepressants, something like that? No. Sorry. Okay. Wait. I heard about what happened. How we went after those guys who were killing those dogs. Yeah, and he nearly got us killed while doing it. Well, maybe that's your answer. Nearly getting us killed while doing it? Look, what does William love so much that he'd be willing to risk his own life? He doesn't need something to heal his body. He needs something to heal his soul. Thanks, Eddie. Okay, that wasn't a mission. <laughs> what else we got? So Ricky was saying that she, when I was over at the mechanic, Ricky was saying she had a mission. Oh, so I was commenting earlier on the fact that there seems to be a rule. Okay, no, there is a mission here. Okay, I was going to say, there seems to be a rule that I will only be summoned on the radio to do a new mission when I leave town so that I, I'm not like caught in this awkward situation where I'm watching somebody call me on the radio or watching them not call me on the radio. But I wonder if maybe it could be that I'm just sort of missing sometimes the fact that I could actually start a mission in town by talking to somebody and I just didn't realize it until I left I don't know anyway let's talk to Ricky about this bounty hunt two dogs back what where where the hell is he he took off when he saw me Jeremy followed him I I know I tried to stop him Jesus where Ricky Jeremy tracked him to the old sawmill said two dog looked like he was holed up in the abandoned Nero camp okay I'll take care of him I need you to bring back his knife <laughs> Wait, you need proof? Jesus Christ. All, fine, great, whatever you say. Don't let him get away, Deke. Who knows how many bodies are buried out there? Yeah, I got this. I feel like I've buried more people than anyone else. <laughs> got good shit in stock today. Boss. Uh, not in the market for that. Okay, so... Weird that that didn't mark itself when I talked to Ricky. How do I get I out of here? At the this way. Society. Had a small office. Let me get the gate. Of yeah, so, I mean, I think my character has probably killed more people than anyone else Elkai, in this world. Elkai, come in. Damn it. Someone go out and find him. Check the dig site. <sighs> okay, okay, Tucker. Sure as hell don't miss your shit. Hey, Deacon, you there? Yeah, Hattie. Check this out. One of my patients overheard us. They might know where you can find a healthy dog. Okay, I'm listening. There's a small resort south of Sherman's camp. Uh... I'm at the sawmill. Going after him. Be careful, Deacon. Remember, there's... There's a big fucking horde here? Yeah, I remember. Thanks, Deacon out. Right. The sawmill. 
famous site of an enormous horde. People in the comments have been telling me about it, and I think that might be the horde that I accidentally ran into one time <laughs> and just got immediately killed. Like, I drove my bike right into the middle of them, trying to escape something else. So, the name Two Dog sounds familiar. Also, I'm hearing something growling. Oh, crap. Breaker. Okay. Let's um, not be seen by that guy. I just don't need that noise. Um, let's be up here instead. Oh, my controller's vibrating. That means I'm near something. I forgot I can carry more scrap now. That's nice. All right, two dog. Where are you hiding? Okay, so am I going to find two dog dead in something worse? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I've got it in my head that there's a character named Two Dog in something else. Or maybe a different number of dog? I don't know. How many how many dog <laughs> does it take to make a character? <laughs> Alright, we got some bodies. And Minimap is saying there's something here. Oh, through the fence. Am I on the wrong side of this fence? I think I might be on the wrong side of this fence. Also, we're definitely going... We're going suppressor with this one. Because if there's a way to do this... Without attracting the breaker, that's what I'd like. Okay, so I'm feeling my controller vibrating. There is something here. But maybe it, maybe it's on the other side of the fence. Because I'm not seeing anything marked on this side. Yeah, it, okay. It vibra oh, yes. There's something over there. I don't know. Is it going to be possible for me to do this without attracting the breaker? I don't see it anywhere, but... That honestly is a little creepier. <laughs> Alright, we're in a constrained space. The last time I ran into a breaker, it was in a space like this. Uh, craft a bandage grab another rag okay okay so he was sniffing at that body a second ago okay he's going the other way Why am I shouting? Also, where did the breaker go? It was freaking there. Okay. Okay. I really don't want to fight this thing. I really, really don't. 
Oh, is he gonna give me? Is he gonna give me a choice? Okay. Is there a way to go around him? I don't know if there is. Can he climb? Like once I get up onto that roof, am I safe from him? I assume he's gonna, you know, do the same thing he did before. Which is move around to the left. Nope. Nope, he's not. Ah, crap. Stop sniffing me, you big jerk. Okay, okay. I'm spending all this time trying to avoid him. And it'll be funny if it just doesn't work. Like, if he just sees me anyway and I have to fight him. It okay, looks like he's... Okay, okay, getting distracted there. <laughs> okay, so the guy... He went this way. Went off this edge. <laughs> Then what? By the way, is there... Can I get in here? Ooh, I can. Oh, there's oh, some stuff. One of those uh, micro recorders. Yeah, wonder what happened to you. Oh, yeah, that's right. You're new here. They fired up the wigwam burner. The what? The wigwam burner. See it? Right over there. Looks like a giant rusty salt shaker. Well, I sure as hell can smell it. Yeah, back in the 60s, they used to burn sawdust in them. Kept them going 24 hours a day. Kind of looked like little volcanoes. And now they're burning corpses. I think this is the last load from Farewell. They're shutting it down. We're being moved to a mass gravesite over in Iron Butte. At least it won't smell as bad. Yeah, let's hope. <sighs> okay. Okay, so I think I've left the breaker in my dust, though I don't know where this guy is. I guess I just follow the most obvious path in each place? Uh... Is this the most obvious path? This isn't. Nothing is revealing anything to me. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, crap. <laughs> I hope that was good. Did leaving a body behind distract them? Okay, I think that was him. Because now I've got a mission marker where I dropped the body. Well, th that was very easy. Killing that guy was extremely easy. But just killing him and not being murdered by a horde, that, that was the problem. All right, so now I just need to get his knife. Here we go. Guess you won't be turning in any more human ears as bounties, will you? Like I do? I mean, I get it. The people that I kill are all bad. <laughs> but, like... Because I, I definitely don't want to be one of those people who's like... Oh, the hero kills people, and so he's just as bad as the villain. Like, you know, it really does depend who and why. Who you're killing, and why you're killing them. Um, and you can be a good person that has killed people, and a bad person that has killed people. I'm, I totally get that. 
And I'm not trying to say that, you know, Deke is equivalent to all the worst people out there because his body count is high. His body count is high because he's the one who keeps getting assigned to, like, punish all the murderers. But at the same time, it just feels, I don't know, when we talk about the bad guys out of context and we say, oh, yeah, he's left so many bodies behind him. And that's all we say? Like, it, it does still leave me a little bit like, hey, uh, Deke, <laughs> have you noticed the body count in this game? <laughs> How many people you kill? I just feel like you'd want to uh, frame it slightly differently. Not like how many bodies they've left in the ground, but, you know, how many good people they've killed. How much chaos they've sown. How selfishly they did it. Something. You'd want there to be something there. It's kind of funny. So, uh, on, in my spare time, I've been playing uh, Project Zomboid again. And so every time I start this fight, I expect it to take, like, several attempts before it actually starts up. And that's because uh, I've been driving a, a nasty old... I've been driving a nasty old taxi in Zomboid. And every time I, I get in it and start it up, uh, it resists me. <laughs> it doesn't want to start. Yeah, Hattie. Check this out. One of my patients overheard us. They might know where you can find a healthy dog. Okay, I'm listening. There's a small resort south of Sherman's camp. Uh, a bunch of cabins in the woods. You know the one I mean? No. Okay, it's off Santium Highway. The same road you take to the old yeah. city. Keep what? on running around. What yeah. the hell is he doing just running around? What do you think? <laughs> what the heck? From this? What the heck? Oh, I got you covered. Who are you people? Uh, yeah, you like that? <laughs> Pull it back. Okay, it's off Santium Highway. The same road you take to the old sawmill. I, and Ricky said she rode with you over there to see the horde? Yeah. That day you guys were what gone all day. Like to the dam. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Why is everyone talking like there's something going on between me and Ricky? I, I mean, like, I actually, and I don't know, it's because I've been playing this over such a long period of time, I don't have a clear memory, but, like, I thought Ricky wasn't into guys. Am I wrong about that? Did I just make that up? I thought that they had said that. That there was like clearly no tension between these two characters. And that they were just going to be friends. I'm kind of surprised that there seems to be some kind of spark between us. Hindered only by, you know, the fact that I'm mourning my wife. Um, and and that people are talking like there's something weird about it. Like, you know... Like, uh, Schizo is spying on us, and Addy's making, like, weird comments about it. Like, like there'd be something wrong with that? I don't I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm missing something. Okay, yeah, I know, I know what you mean. Okay, before I turn that Deacon into Ricky. St. John, how have you been? Buzz, how you doing? I got you covered. No idea sure, all right. People were shooting my bike, we gotta fix Should it. Should have new shit later, stop by. Here's his knife. Thank God. When Joe Haslam found out he came back, he was terrified. Oh, I am so relieved. Yeah, okay. See you, Ricky. Getting close to another skill point. It is funny to me. You hear how... something? How's it going, Buzz? how bad I was at figuring out like those at the end of a mission when they show you that sort of dial filling up I was convinced for many 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 episodes that that was telling me my progress on the mission because it says the name of the mission at the top and and there is uh, there are other you know show like other like screens that show the name of a mission and are showing you your progress on missions and so I was just always because the name of the mission was up there it hurts but I always just thought that it was telling me my progress on the mission and not that it was my progress towards a skill point. People in my comments had to tell me that. I'm wondering, like, what I... You know, I think that maybe it would communicate a little bit better if they had, like, struck through the name of the mission while it was giving me the experience or something. Because, like, I understand what they're trying to say. They're trying to say, you completed this mission and that gave you this experience and this progress towards a skill point. Because congratulations, you completed this named mission. 
Um, but maybe if just if it was just the words mission complete and then filling that, or if it was mission complete and then in tiny text the name of the mission and then the progress, then I would read that as this is your prize that you're getting, not this is your progress on the mission. But, I mean, it's hard to predict that kind of stuff until you got people reacting to it. I worked at the Humane Society. Okay. So, it's been over an hour. We've got a new mission to find a healthy dog. Um, because I get, cause Boozer's hungry, I think, is, is, is what we're doing. So, you know what? I think uh, I think we're going to wrap up this episode here, but I'm going to keep playing. So I'm going to make another episode. Um, and so if you want to see that episode, I'm going to stick it there. There's a subscribe button. And yeah, so let's go, let's go get us a dog. Because <laughs> that's what Boozer needs. And I care about my friend. <laughs>